and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Vanifar. We have another cool looking donation deck, third one of the day. And yeah, we get to play some Prime Speaker Vanifar and some Neoform with our Elementals. So we're going Risen Reef again, uh, but this time... Okay, just messing everything up. You just throwing my chapstick in the in the trash. You know how cats are. They just bat anything that's on the table. Um, but yeah, we're going Risen Reef. We're going to be able to grab Risen Reef with Neoform, uh, get a lot of value from that. And then, of course, we have Overgrowth Elemental, uh, Leafkin Druid, and Cavalier Thorns as other Elementals. We have the cool Shalai Spark Double combo. That's always a good one. Um, I I do like Elite Guard Mages. I think that's a, that's a good add here. I think that's a really good card in these these Bant um, decks. What One thing that could be really cool that we could do is, you know, like with Teferi, if we have Teferi in play and tick up on Teferi, cast our sorcery spells as though they had flash, we would be able to cast Neoform instant speed, which is really cool. We could like respond to a removal spell with the Neoform or, I don't know, like do something cool with that. Um, so yeah, it's it's... We've had some longer leagues today. It's getting a little later. Let's go ahead and just get to the games. Here, this this could be another longer deck. Hopefully, we get to that five win mark. But we're not not winning games right away. We're going to be trying to outground grind people. But we're going over to our traditional constructed queue. With our donation decks. That's what the two two Ds mean here. Oh, I need to make. I need to put the star. Now, this is the deck we're playing now. Where's the star? There it is. No, yeah, you can, you can, yeah, you can put a link for a deck list on here. You're fine. All right, we need to draw a land, but we got Prime Speaker of Anifar. And a mana creature. Let's keep this. We just need one land in our first two draws. There we go. We got matching O3s. Ooh, Arcbow. Respect. So next turn, I'll be able to turn Leafkin Druid into um, Risen Reef. Oh, Thrash Threat? I guess you want remo I guess you need removal, I suppose. And then we can Spark Double the Risen Reef. some cards hopefully find white mana somewhere I assume our decks playing white mana but that may not be a correct assumption maybe there is no white mana in the deck you never know so next turn we can play leafkin druid trigger two risen reefs Sack, leave Kindruid, go get another Risen Reef. Bet you've never been hugged by a crack. Trigger that three more times. Let's get moving. <laughs> okay, there is there is white man in here? Okay. Figure there was. Kiora Lotus Field, that's a combo right there. Just zero mana Kiora.
Is there white mana in here? Hey, there's white mana. Oh, I should have put that in my hand. Ah, eh, we'll find other white mana. Draw another three cards. One of them will be a white source. That kind of counts. Now let's not attack into the arc bow for four. What's up, Row Flush? Whoa, we got a subscriber. Thanks, Row Flush. Sub number 11 on the day. Y'all, let's get some hype in the chat. All right, sub number 11. We did hit our, our first sub, you know, we hit a sub goal today. So going over to our 12-hour uh, stream goal, that's whenever we get to 20 total sub goals, and that's number 15. So we are only five more sub goals away from doing a 12-hour stream. And I updated that in the info panel there on the Twitch page. I love to make a splash. Ceratops. Hmm. All right. So what? What am I doing next turn? We got Lyra. No Lyra. We got Tristani. One, two, three, four, five. That's only two other mana. Oh, wait. We have Tristani in our hand. Gross. Hmm. How do we not have more lands in play? Our deck's only playing 23 lands. Okay, well that's how we don't have more lands to play. That makes sense. Okay. Perfect. All right, so we can either have double Oketra... We have, we have another spark double in here, right? We have two spark doubles. Yes, two spark doubles. Perfect. So now that we can go sack a Risen Reef, get a spark double, copy Oketra, and have double Oketra, then play Shalai. Or we can have double Shalai. Which... Probably want double Oketra. I guess I should probably go Guard Mage and just gain some life. 
over Shalai. Well, wait, then they can't they can't target us if we have Shalai. Yeah, we'll, we'll just go Shalai. All right, perfect. Double Oketra. Now I'll start playing all these creatures that we play. Get us two very big zombies. Sweet. All right, what we got in our sideboard? Another Shalai, a couple Wanderers. Wanderer is kind of cool. Maybe Wanderer instead of Teferi. And grab a Knight of Autumn. Oh, we have a Tulsimer? Sweet. You can come on in here. Wait. No. Never mind. You're out. What do we have for white mana? We only have... Oh, I guess we have 11. So we have 11 white horses. It's not a lot. We got. That's no, not a lot. I think Knight of Autumn is mostly just going to be 4 3. You know, just a 3 mana 4 3 probably matches up with some of their things. You know, like a block shifting Ceratops, for example. Hey, Tiger. Aloha. Yeah, there's not a lot of white mana symbols, but we have we do have double white, like with Oketra. Casting double white spell with only eleven white sources is pretty rough. But it's it's doable. I mean Risen Risen Reef helps with that a lot, and so does Paradise Druid. Like it's it's not bad. We're we're fine. So yeah, Wander uh has that minus two exile a creature with power four or greater. I feel like they were like a gruel deck with creatures, like creature matter stuff. I feel like Wanderer can do some good work for us. Wanderer and Tulsimer is a nice combo. Oh, cause just because, yeah, your wolf doesn't take damage with the fight. I see Fib Fibblethip, I keep. Five drop, not ideal. Craft Digger's Cage. Where's this Knight of Autumn at? Wait, they're playing Craft Digger's Cage in their deck with Arcbow? Whoa. We just got next leveled. I'm not even on that level. I don't know what level our opponent's on, but it's one that I'm not. Their deck's so threatening. Many threats. Darn. Oh, gosh. That really is threatening. Um. Well, he both eat it. Okay, okay.
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So they can kill, like, just like the two things. It's fine. Fortunately, we didn't really even mill anything good over with the Cavalier. I can get the guard mage back. Guard mage cool. Yeah, I told you about the girl mid range deck. Yeah, you're 13 and yeah, you only have what you got. Is the new green cavalier better than the green god? It depends on It depends on how aggressive your deck is. If you're if your deck's really aggressive and trying to you know, if it's, if it's just an aggressive attacking deck, I like the green god more. If you are trying to play a super late game and you want a whole lot of mana, then the green cavalier is better there. Uh, and you're more defensive, green cavalier better there. So likely, with, with your being a gruel deck, likely the green god is going to be better than the green cavalier. Okay, so you and you block that thing. You and you block that. And then I take nine. Oh, Carnage is not dead. Oh no. Why did I think that was going to kill Carnage Tyrant? <laughs> oh no. That was a really bad block. I just, thought, I just did that so quickly. Well. At least the Wanderer is cool. <laughs> yep, I done goofed. Let's get started. Time, time to meet your breaker. Whoops. That would be nice to trade one of these two twos for that Carnage Tyrant, which is what I could have done. Yeah, Cage is still getting us. Yeah, I mean, we still, we have everything on the battlefield checked. Right? Like, we still do. And we're only a 23 land deck, so like we've already gotten rid of two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So like there's only third so you know, two thirds of our deck, exactly two thirds of the deck are spells, so hopefully we're drawing more spells than they are over the course of the game, because like, you know, this is pretty even here. <laughs> yeah, you tried to tell me. Yeah, you tried to tell me too late. Gotta be faster. Wait, who are you attacking? Just me? Yeah, I guess we still make this trade. That'll be bad if they just drew a removal spell. And then I don't kill the Carnage Tyrant again. Where I could have blocked with the Llanowar Elf to make it. I guess if I block with the Llanowar Elf, if they use removal spell on Tristani, Carnage Tyrant still doesn't die. But it's not like I'd be making a safe block. I'm not sure what kind of removal spell they would have with me having Wanderer though too. The hold still.
Lotus Field. It's a that's a cool card. And I will not Lotus Field any questions about it at this time. I don't think there's any reason to hold the land in hand. Nothing that I can see. No. Hmm. More attacks. <laughs> the slowest burn. We attack with four creatures and deal two damage. Playing 1995 magic here, just playing some one fours, attacking in against some O threes. Got a bunch of bounce in here. Creatures just bouncing off each other. Yeah, our opponent's not drawing well either. But yeah, we, we drew a we drew a mythic. Good job, Wanderer. Wanderer was cool. Exiled two creatures. Alright, wanna know. One and oh. Wow, this is the hand that dreams are made of. We get to be on the play? Or are we on the draw? Hopefully we're on the play. It just takes up the whole camera. Yay, on the play. Oh my gosh. Just infinite Risen Reefs here. Oh man. That could be, I don't know, something else. We'll figure that out later. I guess I'll play this so I get to attack. Probably need to be attacking here. Unfortunately, while we're going to have all sorts of good value, I don't know if we're playing against the Nexus opponent. That's going to matter too much. What card in our deck is good against Nexus? Darn, there isn't one. I mean, besides, like, Teferi. Nothing nothing to, like, Neoform into that's good against Nexus. Like, Sideboard will have Night of Autumn. Yeah, get some ramp. ramp more mana hey there's there's the fairy instant speed neo form now
Wow, they didn't even respond? Didn't even come through insight? Nothing. Well, our, our fastest clock is Oketra. I guess, yeah, I guess I could have sparked double to fairy. I was focusing, focusing on getting a, a clock that will kill him next turn. But honestly, yeah, maybe that was the better thing is just spark double to fairy. Yeah, I should have done that. I wasn't really thinking about Spark Double to Fairy. I should have done that, and then, yeah, I could have just bounced both of these. Yeah, I basically switched my mind of what I was doing after the Teferi resolved, I was thinking instant speed Neoform, but then I was like, wait, I don't need it. I need don't need to do that. I should play I should go get Oketra. And so that's why I already ticked up though. I'd I'd play that too fast. Well they they cannot Nexus. Cause they'd have to go to end step to be able to Nexus. They do get to destroy Teferi though. Oh, and all these Risen Reefs. Hmm. No, they're not dead because the Risen Reefs, we, we won't have, we won't kill them. Do I have a four drop? No, I can. I can neoform into a four drop. Yes, I can. I can spark double to fairy, but I doubt they let that resolve. But I mean, well, I guess they would, cause, cause they're just gonna blast them and blow it up anyway. No, the Spark Tumble to Fairy will die also. It still has CMC of 5. Now. If I had a 4 drop... I would be able to neoform the fort like if I had a four drop. Oh, Oketra has double strike. Sweet. Forgot about the forgot about the whole double strike thing. Never mind, it's still lethal. I was thinking it was just eight damage. Wow, I definitely forgot about the whole double strike thing. <laughs> so I was I was gonna say that like if I had the four drop, I would have been able to neoform the four drop into Tristani to make them big enough, but <laughs> it's 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 a little late. <laughs> We've been playing magic for a while today. Not not my finest game there, but we still came out victorious. Which that's all we can do. Yeah, catcher too good. 
All right, so we're bringing in Negate and Knight of Autumn. Uh, cutting Cavalier of Thorns, question mark? Yeah, it's just not going to die. Um, Shalai doesn't really matter, right? Like, I don't really want Veil of Summer for bounce spells, right? It seems really narrow. Just take these things out. Shall I better than Guard Mage just for being three power? The I don't like our chances here. Yeah, game game performance has not been I haven't really noticed it's definitely not better since the last patch, but I haven't really noticed it that much worse, but it does seem a little worse. Yeah, I would I would say it seems a little worse. To my untrained eye. It's a neoform. No. Yeah, maybe it is Neoform. No. Banifar? Banifar. I think maybe Vanifar could be a little slow. I think the Guard Mage you know, draws a card and I'll probably Neoform away the Guard Mage. <clears throat> perfect, I had another Vanifar. So perfect to put back by me. I need land. Dueling you will be excellent research. Let me aid your research. If I had more lands that I knew I was just gonna be continuing to hit land drops, I would have just held up negate. Because I did think that it seemed like our opponent. You know, like they had like a good four mana spell, like a wilderness reclamation or a Teferi that they were considering playing. But went with the chemistry's insight because they wanted to play around counter magic. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Need more blue.
Try to find more blue mana. So just be best way to do it. Really wish they didn't make you click done for every single one of those. Ugh, no blue mana. Well, good chance we're dead. Just need to find, they just need to find Wilderness Reclamation and then have a Nexus, basically. Yeah, this is, good chance this is game. So what's besides Risen Reef, what's the best way to get land more lands on the field? Circuitous route, grow spiral. Yep, those are definitely yeah, those are like the ones that basically everybody plays. Yeah, those are very good ones. Of course a boreal grazer. Um as far as just ramping, you have colorless ramp. Whether it's like chromatic lantern, gilded lotus, some other various things. And our opponent, our opponent did have did find reclamation and nexus, so that's likely game. Activating Tamiya more. I think you will find my notes helpful. That's definitely a game. Two Rex, a Tamiyo, and an Ascanta. Okay, well. Maybe I should be playing Veil of Summer, even though it's just for a bounce spell because of Little Teferi being so good. Plus having Little Teferi. Try to protect it with Veil of Summer. There's 13 blue sources in the deck. And we need to up we need to up these blue and white sources. 13 is not very many. Really should have like 16. Maybe like 15. But yeah, I mean, we have, like, we need, like, blue mana. Just a lot of our cards are blue, you know? Teferi, Neoform, Fibblethip, obviously Risen Reef, Vanifar. Basically, I think we just need, like, a, there, there should just be probably another land in the deck. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe another blue white land. 23 is a really low number of lands. Oh, the model black control? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you can get all the decks here. Yeah, the model black control, I really liked it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to play honestly um but yeah you can uh also i recommend checking it out on the youtube channel there 
um, you you know, especially like at the end, you know, at the end of the video, you can hear my like thoughts on the deck and stuff. But um, it had a lot of good games and everything. It was a fun deck to play. But yeah, there's all the the past videos are up there on the YouTube channel. That was a good one. We had we just ran into two tough matchups for our two losses. Uh, Nexus and Nexus and then like heart like Esper Planeswalker control. It's like two decks that had like zero creatures for any of our removal and and everything. Disconnect. Um, did they just like mulligan into oblivion? Maybe because like they were there, they f they changed the color of their kitty. Maybe they just mulligan into oblivion and I missed it, and they just didn't want to play on you know like three or four cards or whatever. No, the chess clock, the chess clock thing does not help speed up matchups at all, matches at all. It just, it's really, it's really just unnecessary. Basically, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Like it's, it's never affected a match that I've ever played. Um, but I guess like, if for some reason, the game goes like over, you know, you have only thirty minutes to to do your make your decisions, but that's so much time considering how fast arena is think about like paper magic you have a paper a match in paper magic is 50 50 minutes total that'd be like 25 for each person but it's 50 minutes total and that includes like all the shuffling that happens and all the sideboard time and everything and and uh like game actions are just a lot longer there so like this 30 minutes for how it doesn't include you know like there's no shuffling time doesn't include any sideboarding uh do you even have like the thing that makes you play kind of fast, fast-ish? I can't really see that ever coming into play. I guess it goes down kind of fast. How are they already like a minute in? Island, yay! All right, so catch our hand. We had Shalai Spark. We had this Shalai Spark double combo. Yes, yeah, is the new Mu Yanling card back. Ooh, they're going. They're going five color elementals. Wait, interplanar beacon. I don't know what they're doing, but it, it looks sweet. That's all I know right now. Yeah, the timer. Yep, exactly. It, it only prevents the nexus looping without a win con. Like that's really all it does. Yeah, I guess this is gate shift. Does Shalai combo do anything here? Like if I go towards Shalai combo, is it actually beneficial to me? Probably not, right? Like they're just gonna run me up. Like they don't actually interact with me too much, right? So I should just go towards lots of ele elemental value. They really need to fix this, having to click done on every single card. Just put it in your hand. It's right there. You can see it. That certainly slows the game down. It's it's annoying not only playing Risen Reef like that, but then also like playing against Risen Reef because like people like take some time to click OK. Understandably. It's, just, it's not well designed there.
What do we have against Scapeshift? We don't have anything, do we? We have nothing in here, do we? This is going to be a problem. We don't really have an ability to not let our opponents scape shift. That's not it's not really an option. Wish we had a, a Lyra. Lyra. We're gonna like get Lyra, copy Lyra. All right, well, I'm getting our best card, most powerful card, that is. I'm going to go grab Oketra. Hydro Craze is a good one. That's a that's a good card. I think we have negates in the sideboard. Yeah, we have negates in the sideboard. So that's that's like that's what we got. I guess that's a thing. Oh, you, you could have told me, Ived. I, I could have changed the deck list beforehand. But yeah, yeah, deputy of detentions. That that that's a card that helps. But yeah, I didn't I didn't realize you added that to the list earlier today. That would help against some zombies. Excellent timing. This is over. 
Here we go. I mean, the, the Cleansing Nova... That wrecked me pretty good. Me and my multiple Risen Reefs. Instead of playing Vanifar, you know, I, I basically I got I got really punished for going Van, you know, getting Vanifar in play and doing that line. Should have just dropped more elementals. I could have had four triggers and you know drawn four cards and everything. This is over though. All right, what can we do? So we're gonna have negates. And then I guess we'll play Wander to Exile Crisis. I don't want Overgrowth Elemental. I take out an Elite Guard Mage. Cavalier Thorns. What are you doing for me, Tristani? I don't even know. What are you doing for me, Tulsimer? I don't really know either. It's going to be difficult. No, this this is a good Oketra deck. Oketra has been how we can overpower other other this is a good Oketra deck. We should not be replacing Oketra in this deck. So we need to draw blue mana to do anything. Hopefully we do that. All right. We'll get Vanifar in play next turn. And then sack Fibblethip to go grab Risen Reef. And then maybe play Druid. Or Guard Mage. We'll kind of see at that point. Guard does actual nothing. Damping Sphere, two mana, artifact, no additional text. I should probably go grab Oketra, honestly. Dude, that's honestly my best play is getting Oketra. Not doing Risen Reef stuff. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm 
I'm not sure what the goal is with Camping Sphere there. It's drawback hurts them just as much as it hurts us. Hey, 619, what's up? Happy Friday night. Got some, some extra magic here on this beautiful Friday night. Okay. So we want, I mean, it's, it's all about like if they have Cleansing Nova or not. I'm not going to really play around Cleansing Nova. If, if they have it, they have it, I think, right? What's my way to play around it? I guess I could play around it. I mean, this this is turning into Risen Reef, whether or not I want to I play around it. So the other option I have... The not playing around um, Cleansing Nova would be to turn to sack Risen Reef, turn it into go grab Spark Double, turn it into another Oketra, and then cast a Leafkin Druid and double trigger Oketra. That's the way to not play around it. The way to play around it is to just play Leafkin and then sack Leafkin and get grab another Risen Reef and just draw a lot of cards that way. I think that's that's honestly the, the play that we should be doing here. That's the safest thing. Like we're we're doing just fine anyway, like even with Yeah, we don't we don't need to go like all ish and like you know, like we're drawing a lot of cards here. Replacing our cards that we're playing. Let's do that. Yeah, tomorrow is the sub battle. Sub battle Saturday. Whoops. Yeah, fill the dip over here. Uh, it starts at the same time, 3 o'clock Eastern is when it will be starting. Do I want to play Tristani? No, I don't. Okay, well, that was a quick answer. We've done a really good job hitting lands here with the Risen Reefs. It's good for ramping us, but it's not as good for getting more cards in hand. But here we go. Now we're getting all of our spells because we hit lands so much earlier. So even with cleansing Nova, we can re we can rebuild. We got the mana too. And if they don't have cleansing Nova, then we'll start having negate available. The spells cost more mana because this damping sphere. That I said earlier, kind of jokingly, that it has no additional text, but I guess it has a little bit of additional text. Does keep does make some of those things cost more. Which is not very good text.
So I'm going Cavalier Thorns over Tristani. Because it puts a land into play untapped. So now I have mana for negate. Even though I just got rid of this Oketra that I put back last turn. Yeah, Vanifar and Neoform are pretty sweet. Make make it so easy just to get tons of Risen Reefs. All right, game three. Right, I'm going to play my own Veil of Summer since we saw mass manipulation instead of Wanderer. You know, Damping Sphere does have very good art. I agree with that. Very good art on the card. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely liking the deck. Yeah, this is definitely my kind of deck. There are there are certainly holes. Let me notice, especially like, you know, just not really having removal. For one, but yeah, as you said, you added some deputy of detentions to the sideboard. Yeah, pod decks are good. Oh, does Damping Sphere have awesome flavor text too? I don't, I don't know the flavor text. Hopefully, our opponent plays Damping Sphere this turn, this game. I would like that. I wish you could choose which cat you want to eat. Like, a couple things about the cat. Oh, look at that. The cat has hearts now. If you pet it. They should let you choose either, like, whatever, whatever cat that you have. You know, the common or the uncommon or the rare. Like, right now it's just, I have the uncommon, so I have to use it. And they should also let you change the default color. Which maybe, honestly, with the update, maybe they did. Maybe they did change that. I don't know. I guess I haven't checked. They got hearts here now. But it shouldn't always have to be default red. Do I have a favorite magic set? Um. No, I really liked Magic Origins. Oh, that was a real fun set. Real fun set. Um, you have been analyzed and found I thought it was just wanting. designed really well. The, the Transform Planeswalkers were a huge hit. Um, the... Uh, there's a lot of good throwbacks. There was a lot of good... A lot of good throwbacks in the set uh, to older cards with it. Uh, that would probably be my favorite set. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. Like, you know, since I've been playing like standard and all that kind of stuff, I thought it was pretty well put together. Okay, let's see. Five. Maybe I just go Cavalier Thorns and Ramp. 
Or do I do the spark double? I think I'm just gonna go Cavalier Thorns. Our opponent's deck is just getting stranger and stranger every game. I don't even know what's going on anymore. We got Dovin. Alright, well, we're 18 cards deep with just four lands, so. Should be hitting some land drops here pretty soon. A few things can withstand my careful scrutiny. Scrutani. There we go. All right, so if I play Oketra, I don't have Negate available anymore because of dove in. So I could play Spark Double and have Negate available. Is it possible that they're not even a Scape Shift deck? No, that's probably not possible. They gotta be Scape Shift. Hmm. We need more lands. We have too many cards to cast. The fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. I couldn't, I still can't, I couldn't kill Dovin. All right, the Cavalier Thorns doesn't do any damage. So yeah, if I if I would have Teferi bounce the blocker, we were not killing Dovin. We'd have just been dealing one damage to Dovin. Cavalier of Thorns wasn't wasn't doing any damage because of Dovin's minus. All right, Dub's Field of the Dead. Perfection is unattainable. So I <laughs> need to play twenty two lands in a deck that was mostly four and five drops. I hope you learned the. From the air of your ways. I know my responsibility. That's more like it.
Settle the wreckage. Just kidding. <laughs> yep, let's go. Let's attack. One of these things is not doing damage. I think that the Oketra, yeah, the Oketra is not actually doing any damage. I just hit attack all. Because I felt like it. Cleansing Nova. I'd probably probably play Cleansing Nova before the land. Rut row. All right, well that that's the thing that could beat us. Besides, um. Yeah, that's definitely the thing that can beat us. <clears throat> Besides, like, Cleansing Nova resetting here. All right, how many zombies are they going to have? What's up, Hawkeye? What? Are you kidding me? They messed that up? Wow. Wow. Alright, so talk about what our turn was going to look like. I was going to be sacrificing our Risen Reef that we had left, and I was going to be getting Spark Double to copy Tristani so that our creatures would get another plus one plus one. And so, like, our, our zombies were going to be 6-6s six and so on. So it was going to be tough for them. I think I think we had it. But unless they had, like, they were going to get more zombies than I was expecting. So how many zombies were they supposed to get? If they would have had... Uh, if they would have done that correctly, and they wouldn't have chose two of the same land... They would have had five. No, so they would have had six. Seven. So seven, seven lands coming in. So it would have been seven times three. So they would have had 21 zombies. 21 zombies was going to be difficult to beat. No, I think we had it. Maybe. Maybe had it. Yeah, we had it. Yeah, we had that covered. Good mana, but nothing before turn four. Hazmat Games, you are awesome. Thank you so much for that support there. Y'all get that hype in the chat. Hmm. Pains me to mulligan, but I think that we got to do something before turn four, right? Maybe not. Let's keep it. We're gonna draw. We're gonna draw a two drop, or a three drop in our first two draw steps. Our deck is filled with two and three mana cards. We're gonna draw one of those in our first two draw steps. So we're gonna play something on turn three still. Yeah, we're gonna play something on turn three, and then Van Vanifar on four. And then Guard Mage turned it into like Oketra on five, and then Spark Double Oketra. See, told y'all we were gonna draw something. Gotta have that confidence. Yep. Yeah, if we would have had Deputy, would have would have made that a lot easier. Would have had that last last game. 
So I could spark double the Vanifar and have double Vanifar. Double Vanifar action. Or I can just go grab Risen Reef, copy Risen Reef. That's always good. We are kind of facing the beatdowns, though. Whoa, no attacks. Oh, right, because they can't, because we were 2-4. Sweet. Uh, let's go get Oketra. This seems like an Oketra matchup to me. I don't know about... I don't know about you. But to me, this feels like Oketra. Get another blue in here. Against green, red, aggro stuff. No, don't kill my Vanifar. Don't do it. It's just business as usual. Yay. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> no. Still don't kill my Vanifar. Boo. Sorry, kitty. Moro Ketras. Moro Ketras. Zombies. 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 Bays. Bays. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, we're going to wander, wander around, look for something to play in the sideboard. All right, time waster out of here. And Night of Autumn. I guess you do things. I guess you're in our sideboard. Hmm. Yeah, this, this card probably just shouldn't be in our sideboard. If I'm, like, not really even wanting to bring it in here. Our future site lands... Confirm the new land cycle for the upcoming new set. No. 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 There has been no word on any cards from the new set. Well, that's victory. Double Oketra is going to get you so good that you win two games. All right, let's get to our final boss. We are 4-0. So here we go. We are 4-0 with Team Regolos also. But we fell to the final boss even with our extra life. Let's see if we can defeat the final boss this time. All 
All right. Ugh, this deck has so much potential. This hand has so much potential. We're rolling with it. Get our green kitty for more mana. We need mana. Need our mana kitty. Alright, really hoping they don't kill Shalai here and we get to spark double Shalai. Please don't kill Shalai this turn. Don't kill Shalai. No! Ugh. Yeah, they... Yesterday with the update, they have card styles now for the basics. So there's... Uh, two sets that... The M some M20 and War of the Spark basics that have card styles. And yeah, really liking it. Yeah, we could yep, we could draw Little Teferi, bounce the prison realm. Get Shalai back, spark double Shalai. Angels. So we'll hold out hope for that for one turn. That'll be. So next turn I'll be sacking Fibble Thip, turn turn it into the reef that has risen. No, not washed ashore. It walked ashore. Rut row. Uh We don't actually beat that, do we? Like we don't have any removal, do we? Yeah, we could go double Vanifar. So Cavalier of Thorns. Start with this. I didn't play a land, right? No, I did not. So let's let's just put this in our hand. Okay. No, let's let's play Cavalier. So do we have the mana to play Teferi, Spark Double, and Cavalier next turn? That's a good card for us to see. So that'd be three, seven. That's not a good card for us to see. Three, seven, plus five is 12. That was 
awesome for us. Wow, that was not not good for them. We get to actually kill Lyra. Maybe they they may not have realized the Cavalier has reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve mana right now. Seven. Twelve. Perfect. Let's slow this down. I've got it. Are we actually going to... Are we actually going to win this before we mill out, though? I get start getting rid of these risen reefs, I guess. So I, I can like make another Shalai, of course. I think I want to just get Guard Mage though. Cause I think I need to go get go get some Oketras. I think I want I want to go get Oketra. Like turn turn Guard Mage into Oketra, and then turn the Spark Double into another Oketra. So then we start building tokens, and then we're gonna use all of our mana on Shalai pumps. We we should have this. Boom. That's game number one against the final boss, Hawkeye. It's going to be tough to win the other games. Ooh, we got Wanderer. That's good. Wanderer's good. I was going to say, we don't have, with us not having removal, but Wanderer's removal. Wanderer, good. Um, Knight of Autumn can blow up some enchantments. We'll get rid of Overgrowth Elemental. And... One guard mage. Guard mage is kind of cool. The Tristani. Maybe we don't need the Tristani. Yeah, they kind of fly over Tristani. We'll get rid of all Fibbles, maybe? Yeah, we'll get rid of Fibbles. This could be a second July matchup. We need to keep Fibbles in. No, I guess Fibbles unfortunately gets the cut. This is what's going to happen to us. We're just going to have, like, crappy hands if we're not keeping Fibbles, huh? Fibble, fib. 
Alright, playable. Playable. If you're not picky. Adanto Vanguard. Whoa. Whoa. What is that card doing here? Besides messing me up. Does that to a dinosaur? What would it even do to an elf? Spyglass. Does poking the other person's cat do anything now? I like this time. You know, it has. My name is London is back. I'll go back London for 30 months. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Being here every step of the way. 13th sub of the day. Wrecked. Hmm. Guess I need to play that wanderer. Need to get that wanderer down, prevent that damage. Boo. Where's our Knight of Autumns? That's mean. Prime Speaker Vanifar is just like this nice elf ooze wizard. And our opponent's sending them to the prison realm? That's that's intense. The prison realm. Just to a little elf elf ooze ooze wizard. Is the prison realm better than the shadow realm? Shalai would be looking better, of course, than the Wanderer. Shalai would be able to block this Vanguard and everything. So kind of put the wrong card down to the bottom. You know, looking back at it. But obviously they could just have Lyra Dawnbringer, which, there they go. And that's a card that we would not be able to beat with Shalai, but Wanderer can take care of. What's that, Hawkeye? 
You're gonna help me draw a Knight of Autumn to blow up the prison realm? Well, that may not be good enough now. Yeah, honestly, it should have just been one of these, one of these, uh, one of the two mana creatures here. What are you doing? You know, chapstick. Where's the concede button? Hawkeye's getting mad I haven't fed him yet. Their lead going longer. He's just being... He's like, feed me. Trying to attack me. Um, I could play Negates. Get this... Tristani back in here. I wonder did not look good there, of course. But it'll look good at other times. Yeah, our streams are going a little late tonight. We've had some longer leagues. But we are at their, our final boss. Hopefully win this game here. Win the match. Get the 5-0. Big game here. Pretty bad hands for a big game. I guess we're going with this though. Just gotta draw blue mana. I just don't want to go to five, you know. Like if that was like a seven, I would mulligan. But it's a six, so our standards have dropped. All right, we're still we're still in there. Whoops, we're in there now. What? I don't like that card. No removal, please. Uh, instead of deafening Clarion. All right, deafening Clarion is going to be going to be annoying. Good. Good draw with that fifth mana. Oh, I took out Fibble. No, I needed Fibble tip. Uh, Ooze laughing now. Uh, fibble tip is.
Hmm. Yep, y'all, y'all told me not to take out Fibblethip. And I needed it. Could have drawn two cards here. Gosh, I got a block. Yeah, I got a block. No shock land. Just give me a regular land. Okay, regular land. Alright, we'll go ahead and chillai combo. There's no more removal spells for the opponents here. Kind of bad news, I don't really have anything to do with Vanifar now. I mean I can sack the sack the Cavalier Thorns and No, uh, that doesn't really work. Then I have to shuffle my library. Oh right. They have Deafening Clarion. Right, right, right. I should have just copied the Cavalier Thorns. That would have been better than copying Shalai, because right, they have Deafening Clarion. I already knew about that. Um, well, in that case... I keep the 4-5 Shalai? Or I keep... Keep the Cavalier Thorns? No, let's keep the 4-5 Shalai. Well, our, t our opponent can't target us with shock because we have Shalai in play. Now they can. All right, so I can go grab. I can go put Shalai back to have the combo again. But putting Risen Reef makes more sense. I can still use Risen Reef to get the combo. Oh, they didn't pay for life for their Vanguard. Because I brought the second Shalai in, right? Well, I have the spark double either way. Well, that's a good card. Yes, I do have the second July. So let's keep the spark double. Let's grab the Shalai. So still can't touch this. Do 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 do. Man. I haven't thought about MC Hammer in a while. It's, that's what we got over here. It's hammer time. Bolts don't matter. We have hexproof. They're saying good game. I'd like to say good game back, but there we go. My avatar has hexproof. Sorry, I'm late. Here goes nothing. But 
Boom. That's the 5 0. Oh, let's get our victory fanfare. Boom. Get our 40 gems, 2100 gold. Update this over here. Yeah, that is that was definitely the perfect Teferi line going, sorry I'm late, whenever the, the game was over. I mean, was it over? I mean, it wasn't. They, they, they could have chump blocked there. Right, they would have chump blocked Oketra. We didn't have lethal. Did we? I don't, I don't remember if we did or not. Okay. So, one, this deck was, this deck was definitely fun to play. This is a pretty sweet deck. It has its holes, uh, you know, like with removal and stuff. Um, I don't like these overgrowth elementals. I don't think they're necessary. I think that's somewhere where you could get like a deputy. Definitely get, uh, definitely should have one deputy in the main deck. Um... Whether I understand wanting like a, a good three drop to sacrifice though, like wanting to have a good some good three drop to sacrifice. But it didn't really feel like like you know, like we we do have the risen reefs we get to sacrifice. Um is there an it's a good value three drop that's not overgrowth elemental. Like, is there anything better than Jade Light Ranger? Or is Jade Light the the best? Jade Light's probably the best. Maybe I mean if you want to play one overgrowth elemental, I'm fine with that. Could also play Jade Light. Could play... I don't think you'd want, like, Elvish Rejuvenator or anything like that. I don't think you need to go that deep. Um, honestly, instead of Overgrowth Elemental, maybe the... What's the what's the clone called? Is it, like, a Mime or something? Nope, that's not it. It's definitely not a clone. All right, copy. Mirror. That's that's the word I was looking for. Mirror could play a mirror image if you want. Like just another like the spark doubles were just incredible for us. Like the spark doubles were so good. So like maybe actually having like a mirror image, a three mana one, like where you can sack sack one of these to grab mirror image for something. Honestly, that would probably. Hey, what's up, Waffle? I think I think having a mirror image here because yeah, the spark doubles are just so clutch. And so I like having. Having access to that at another point in the curve. Um, yeah. So then sideboard, we don't want de devout decrees. Devout decrees just aren't really very valuable. So we definitely want another deputy or two there. Knight of Autumn was pretty great. Kind of wish I had another Knight of Autumn. Kind of wish I had the Knight of Autumn in the main deck, honestly. Maybe instead maybe instead of Mirror Image, go towards a Knight of Autumn in the main deck. Um, what else was this? This deck was definitely missing a Lyra. Even if you just want to go sideboard Lyra, there need there should be a, a Lyra in here against like like there's matchups that we need Lyra against. I think Lyra is better than Tulsimer. Tulsimer is kind of whatever. I don't I don't even think you need Tulsimer, honestly. Like, without having the other wolves and stuff, like, three threes are just small. I, I wouldn't even play Tulsimer. You can get that thing out of here. Wanderer is definitely very situational. We really don't need two Wanderers. Like, one is fine-ish. You really don't need Wanderer at all. Um... I mean, yeah, we could add night packs, but I don't know if we need it. What else with this deck? Enters the battlefield. Creature. No, no. 
No. No. Cavalier Dawn's not bad. We don't have enough white mana. I like the elite guard mages, honestly. I think they do. Like, I think the three life is really nice. I wouldn't want to take them out for night packs, I don't think. I think that they, they do a really good job of keeping us alive and everything. Maybe a Dream Eater. Maybe... No, I don't like Militia Bugler. Maybe just a third Night of Autumn. Peacekeeper? No. Yeah, right next to this wheel right here, there's another button that changes the deck layout to change to make it look like that. Yeah, Dream Eater, I don't I don't know if we need a six mana card. But that that could be a cyborg thing. Basically, cyborg, we we have a, a couple free slots if you you know, like if you're building the deck, you have some you have some stuff you want to be playing, you can. I don't even really love Shalai, honestly. Um Maybe Ether Gust or No. Probably just a third Night of Autumn and I don't know, I guess Tulsimer or maybe another Tristani. I don't love Frilled Mystic because I think, you know, because, like, it's if we just pass the turn with our mana up, it's pretty obvious what we have. Um, I have not had 33 ounces of water. Yeah, I could I could go with an immortal sun. Yeah, I don't I don't mind going with an immortal sun. I don't mind just going with like another with another negate or another veil of summer kind of thing also. Want like a null hide ferox in here. You can go null hide ferox also sideboard. Null, null hide's probably better against the walker decks anyway than immortal sun is. It's just so aggressive. It's a good card to, to grab, and it's, you know, you have it in your hand, and they thought raise you or whatever. Could could play, like, a time wipe or something. That's honestly not bad for, like, the Nissa matchups, like, if you, if we're getting behind. Honestly, like, having one time wipe is, is really not bad. I, I maybe actually like that more than Immortal Sun. That's not bad. But yeah, you could, you know, like basically there's there's definitely some open slots there that you can play around with uh, in the sideboard. You know, like so basically third third night of autumn, second July. I don't I don't even think you need a second July, honestly. Um, let me just get rid of that. That wander. There's there's definitely sideboard slots that you can kind of play around with um, and, and everything there. Uh, does it handle scape shift? Not super well. No, the deputy detentions will help there. We played against like a, a weird scape shift version that was not optimal whatsoever that we defeated earlier. Um, but anyway, we're like an hour late here. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to feed Hawkeye as you can tell he's really, really hungry. Um, but that's it here for Bant Vanifar. A pretty sweet deck here. Um, you know, could definitely, you know, could, could use some more tuning with the sideboard, <clears throat> but, uh, off to a good start. I liked a lot of the cards that we had in here though. Anyway, um, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck as well. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there, but that's it here for 
Vanifar, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.